Hi guys, welcome back to Hackers Academy. On today's um, video, we will talk about power function and basic rules of algebra as far as we are concerned. So, for the power function, we first say we have the power and then we have the function. In the power function, we will talk about two things which is uh, the square and the cube. The square and the cube. We say 2x square. The highest power of the x is what? It's a square. It's a square. That's the highest power. 2x cubed. The highest power of the x is what? It's a cube. So whenever you see this, you know that uh, the highest power of this x is what? It's a square. And the highest power of this x is a what? It's a cube. Then from there, we will also come to see in a quadratic function. You know we have a function called a quadratic function. A quadratic function. We have a quadratic function. In a quadratic function, the highest, the highest power of the function in a quadratic equation is what? It's a square. It's a square, which is what? For example, we have x square. I mean, it's this square on top here. That's the square here. You talk about the, the cubic function. The cubic, in the cubic function, cubic function, we talk about, we talk about the cubic function. The highest, the highest function in the cubic function is a cube, as well as the x is the raised to power 3. So this is what you need to um, um, get um, on the consideration. Maybe when you talk about the quadratic equation, whenever you see an m like x square, the equation for example 2x square plus 3 or so, that like, when it is as well as a square, you know that the highest power is the highest power is square, then it's a quadratic function. Whenever in any equation you see that the highest power is a square, it's a quadratic equation. Any equation you see that the highest power is um, this is a cube, then in that equation is, is, is a cubic function. In that equation, it's called cubic function or the cubic equation. Okay? Those are, um, those, those are the things that we um, need to the um, power functions as far as um, we are concerned right now. So, the solving actually of power functions will come later. Those are the things power functions. So, from there, we will move to the basic rules of algebra. We said basic rules. Of algebra. The basic rules of algebra. We will be talking about uh, the rules that are implies whenever algebra is concerned. It's, it's, very, it's very easy. First of all, we will talk about an example of that is we will talk about uh, the import and the export. As far as we are concerned, import is a very big thing in this country and in you know, all other countries and export is also a thing. We keep importing more of our goods and then we, 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 less, and we ex, export less goods. So import as far as it is concerned, we have a set import targets which is imports and then export. Import will represent as letter Z and then export is represented as letter X. Okay? Now an example that we will be giving in, as far as our business master is concerned, they will give us question, they will say that uh, in an economy, if the export in an economy, if the export in that economy is 450, is an example. This is an example that I'm giving. When you are giving this example, in an economy, the export is 450, and then the import, the import is 80 plus 0.1 y. This one is an individual number, but this the import is what is an expression form. So we need to solve this out. But the question says that um, um, write the net export in terms of y. We write the net export in terms of y. We find an expression for net, net export. Net export. We are trying to find an expression for net export in terms of what? In terms of y. In terms of y. Whenever you are giving this, in, um, in business math, when you are trying to find expression, expression means you have to leave your answer in an equation form. And also, not only that, here is how we say that net export in terms of y means the net export has to be the subject of the formula, and then y should be the variable of this uh, of, of inside the formula. That subject of the formula should be should stand alone, and then y must be in the equation. That's what you can to say. Now, how to answer that? It's very easy. We bring the formula, the formula for net export is net export equals export minus import. That's what you like, uh, net export. It means export minus import. It means that 
Net export means you ex uh, you export more than what you import. Net import means you import more than what you export. And this point we have, we have we have more of net import than net export. So um, from the formula, x is what x is here. X what is what four fifty. You bring four fifty. You maintain the minus sign, and then the x that the import which is the z is here. You will, you cannot bring the, uh, the equation directly because this one is for is, is an equation form. I didn't mean it was only one letter or only one number. For example, only the you bring the here without any bracket. But as far as um, this is it, it is like it's a constant and a variable. We have two things here. We have a constant and we have a variable. So we have to put, put that in a bracket. Whenever you have a constant and a variable, always put your equation in that in a bracket, or else it will be wrong. Because the same outside, which is this, it should affect everything. If you don't put it in a bracket, it means that this minus sign will only affect the entity, but will not affect the plus one, plus this uh, plus, uh, plus zero point one y. So that's why we say bracket of entity plus zero point one y. You see? Now, what can we do? We maintain the 450. We maintain the 450. Isn't it? So we said minus minus times positive 80. Minus and positive is minus. Whenever the signs are different, it's minus. Whenever the signs are the same, it's plus. So minus times 80 is minus 80. Minus times plus is minus. And you, this is 1, 1 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.1. You bring it y. As easy as that. Now what can you do? This is a number, this is a number, and this is a variable. And then you are going to leave your answer in an expression form. So you can you add or subtract the numbers by the number. You say 450 minus 80, and it will give you 370. 370. And then you bring this minus 0 0.11. Now, therefore, the net export is 370 minus 0 0.11. And your answer is a net export in terms of y. Why at the equation? This is how you um, do this as easy as it is, and then you can um, become very easy because this is in an expression form and it's also in terms of y. So the subject is in terms of the y, I mean, that net export is in terms of y. That, that's why you have to get. Um, if, whenever you are told that you should give your answer in an expression form, you must have this subject and you have a variable. This is how you do it, and this is how easy um, this is in um, business math as far as the basic of algebra is concerned. Thank you.